Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Marset. She is Valentina. And that is the vacuum experiment one. We're going to try and go straight up. Uh, we'll angle a little bit, I think, because we want to get a little bit more atmosphere on the way down. Um, we don't have a contract, so I can close that one. Um, oh, we do. Achieve goal. Get above 70,000. We'll soon find out if we do it or not. In that case, let us go. Big can of bang to get us going. So we will nose down. Just put the stability assist on. Yes, I know it's not safe. So be it. Alright, so. Rotate. And we'll pitch down a bit. Alright, so we're not getting. We're not going in the right direction. We wanted to be going that way. <laughs> um, to get Kerbin to help us into some kind of orbit. But, so be it. Currently happy with our speed. As soon as we are out of the majority of the atmosphere, the report we're flying high. Nope, not this time. We're going to be going an awful lot higher than that. We'll grab the crew report later. Our objective altitude! Currently, we are predicted to reach an altitude of 51 kilometers. Cruising speed is getting a bit high. I'm going to throttle back again. That much that was slowing down. You can see that's where the rocket's going, that's where the rocket's facing. <laughs> These things don't match, but because we're high enough, it doesn't make much difference. They're all good so far, Val. Yep, yep, I know you can see your house from here. You can see everyone's house from here. You live underground. Plenty of fuel. Expected altitude now of high enough. Alright. I think we're high enough now. Full power. Space! Back with the space noise. Open! Give me mystery goo, please. Thank you. Give me a crew report. Thank you. Tell me about the temperature. Ah. Tell me about the pressure. <laughs> it, it would do. It's a vacuum. Alright. Our expected altitude is really freaking high! Okay. Um... Again, kind of worried I've overcooked this, so let's just hope we uh, we land somewhere interesting. We're in space. We're in a lot of space. No, we can't get out. We don't have enough power for that yet. So let's close that up and just you know enjoy the view. Wow. Uh, what kind of view have you got? Well, there's space. We rotate the capsule. There's the Milky Way, Val. Alright, apparently. Can't find Kerbin. There she is. There you go, Val. Take a picture of that. Whale noises? Alright. We've not even reached our uh, Apple Apps this yet. Um, we have the ability to even warp out that far yet. Yeah. 
Give it a long clock. Add new alarm. Epoapsis. that I am now higher than Kerlin. So that alarm didn't work. Alright. I can't get another crew report. But I will replace this one. It will open this bay up. Reserve that mystery goo. Goo feels right at home here. Keep. That's the one I've already used. Pressure data. Okay, it's a vacuum. No, what were you expecting? Yeah, I know Val. It's good, isn't it? Log that temperature. There's a temperature in space, it appears to be quite impossible, as if there's no matter around to be a hot or cold. It's a spacecraft, but the motor itself. This is probably going to give the R&Ds guys something to think about for a while. Keep. Close. Alright. <laughs> Look at her face. Look at her face. It's like, wow. I know. You really can see how far up you are. That's the engine. <laughs> We were not, uh, I was generally not expecting to get this quite high up. Escape the atmosphere, yes we did. Achieve goal, escape the atmosphere, yes we did. Broken a re high record, reached space. So we've got a fair chunk of cash from this to help us buy our space plane parts. So let us um, move the spacecraft so it's coming down but first. No, that's the program mark. Coming down bum first, and let's um, time warp a bit. So, put the bump clock away. Oh, that was it. I told it to wait till periapsis. <laughs> Not Apo. Alright, we're going in pretty quick. Yep, yep, Val, you're coming in pretty quick. Not even hit the atmosphere yet. There's the time warp, letting us know we've hit the atmosphere. Should start slowing down soon. Flying high over the grasslands. We've got another grasslands landing. There's the heat. Let's turn that off so it just naturally sorts itself out a bit. It's not. <laughs> oh, we've got an overtemp. And we're about to lose our parachute. We're about to lose the nose. Are we going to slow down in time? Are we going to slow down in time? No, we're not. Bang! Okay! I've killed both the pilots. I'm coming down far too shallow on that landing. Whoops. So, a moment of science for Val, and a moment of science for all that science. Oops. Alright. So yeah, everything just blew up. Back to the space center. Hmm. Too steep. Not enough time to slow down. So we've got a big chunk of money. So we need to hire a new pilot. Donald. Welcome aboard, Donald. You're not very courage, and you're not that stupid. That went a fair chunk of our money. So, we need to do that again, essentially, but come up with a shallower orbit so that we can come in safer. Um, we got the contract, but we didn't get the science. Um, what I think I will do... is... ferry to 
tourists to the destination. Suborbital spaceflight of Kerbin. Interesting. I could potentially do that. There's a half decent chance I'll kill you. Flight control. So that was the one. No, we don't have any science because another came back. So that's the one that gives the ability to do the tourist mission, unless we want to stack a set of. Um, oop, not that one. Stack a set of control pods on top of each other. All right, that's right. I hadn't bought it yet. Grrr. All right, aerodynamic parts purchase. Extra sciencey parts. I don't need you yet. <laughs> so, space plane hangar. Let's start off with the space plane nose. We're going to go for a little fly. Let's walk to little jet fuel. Do I have a jet engine? I do have a jet engine. This should make things a little easier. That's tiny. <laughs> That's slightly better. Alright, so that's a basic engine. That's adorable. Structural payload. Aerodynamics. Circular intake. Okay. You're also adorable. And you're about the right size. Ah, okay, right. I see vaguely where we're going to go with this. Not particularly together, which is kind of annoying. So. I haven't bought that yet, that's fine. Heat shields. Landing gear, we'll come back to that in a sec. Pentagons, nose cones. Alright, let's put a service bay on the back. No, we're not going maybe that high or that fast. So, I want. A set of girders. Aerodynamic, aerodynamic, aerodynamics. Winglets. Tail fin, tail connector, sweat wings. Oh, actually, that would be nice. Wing connector type B, connector type C, basic fin, structural wing, sweat wings. Don't know if we're going that fast, but. Symmetry on. We want two wings. Planes don't fly very well if you don't have two wings. Aerodynamic center, center of thrust, center of mass. Right, I have put those wings on too much of an anhedral. Tail fin. Okay, the airplane simulation. All right. 
just do pitch, you just do your elephants. I don't like these ones because they're just annoying. Give me flat wings. It's not going to be particularly clever playing. Roll. Nice. So, that's a full actuator thing, so that's quite nice. Alright, so that's between there and there. That means they will have a nose down moment. So that means I've got a downward pushing tail fin to get this thing to work. explode very far away. So we've got a 13 minute flight time. Not very long, but then we don't have a lot of fuel. Which is fine by me. Let's open you up. Turn those two off. And we'll put Thank you. 
in a position where they actually appear on the graphics. some wheels, otherwise this thing's not going anywhere. Steerable nose cone. I just have one in mind. Right to the very front. Oh, a lot of... Ah, I ripped the entire back off the plane. Get back on there. One of them, no. <laughs> I would have thought designing aircraft would be difficult. All right, so this is Explorer One. Say, so, we've got 13 minutes worth of flight time. I have no idea if this is going to fly. We've seen how well my previous missions attempts to place that gone have gone. So I will bring you back when we're on the runway and we've got our contract to go and explore the um the old airfield. Bye for now.